Hi everyone, this is Nina from Rafaela Soul Sessions. How are we all doing? <laughs> um, we are living in somewhat uncertain times. Well, completely uncertain times. <laughs> Um, and I had a session, or I facilitated a session uh, a few months ago, um, where my client had a really beautiful bird's eye view of the future. Um, at first she wasn't sure if she was on earth. Um, and then it became more and more clear as she had the experience that yes, this was Earth, but it was a future time period. She was a bird. <laughs> she was experiencing it as a bird. Um, and it was really, really interesting. We talked about um, the dynamics between humans, um, the governance and the financial systems, um, the, the link between science and spirituality, um, how we were advancing as humans, um, how we were living, how, um, how we were interacting with the earth. Um, there was a lot of really nice information and it wasn't too long a, a piece of uh, exploration. So I thought I would share it with you just to give some of you out there who um, are maybe feeling a little <laughs> uh, all over the place right now, give you some hope and some faith that um, what is happening on earth right now isn't the final destination and um, there are things that we can do to help this process. So um, I wanted to share this little clip with you guys just, just to share the love and to share some positive information to give some hope for people out there. I hope you enjoy this little clip. Um, and thank you for to my my dear friend and, and client who who allowed me to share this beautiful information for humanity. <laughs> so this is a clip. I hope you enjoy it and um, I hope you're all doing okay. <laughs> And if you need me or anybody out there wants to have one of these sessions with me, then don't be afraid to get in touch. I am at www.rafaelasoulsessions.com. So enjoy this bird's eye view of the future and um, have a beautiful day wherever you are. Okay, thank you. Remembering the more you speak, the more information will come to you. And the more I will be able to guide you. Okay, so I sense laughter and comfort mm -hmm. and texture and Lots of colours, but not colours as we see it sort of outside. I'm outside somewhere, but it's not in the same sense as being outside somewhere. Um, almost on the planet, really. It's different. Okay. It's a different place. It's different textures and feelings mm -hmm. and is, sensations. What is the landscape like around you? The landscape is it's hilly, but it's not kind of it, it's spongy. And hilly, mm -hmm. um, and the hills are more kind of uh, muted tones of pinks and reds and greens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
everything's more textured, like material like rather than natural like, mm. if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, and so, what's your immediate surroundings? What is in your immediate space around you? Anything that you can describe? In my immediate space around me is kind of it's just landscapes, it's nature, it's not built up at all, it's um countryside. Um, I don't feel the presence of any other sort of being though around me or anything like that. I can just feel this textured landscape that doesn't seem to be here. Okay. And so take a moment and look down at your feet. And tell me what your feet look like, if you have any feet. The first thing that comes into my head is that my feet are webbed. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Webbed feet. Mm -hmm. Like a, a bird, a duck or something. Mm -hmm. And scan up your body and just let me know what the rest of your body looks like. I actually do feel like I'm a big feathery friend. Beautiful, wonderful. Yeah, I don't feel, I feel like a flamingo, but not just a, like a pink flamingo. I feel like a different coloured flamingo. Wow. Wonderful. What colour are you? I'm a green and red, sort of muted green and, and red kind of colour, not your bright colours, colourings, mm -hmm. but muted colourings. And my legs and my feet are a kind of pinky brown. Wow. Wonderful. And are you here alone? I feel like I can sense other other flamingo family friends. It feels weird um, <laughs> around me, like just popping up now as we're kind of asking, am I here alone? Mm -hmm. It's like, no, I'm not here alone. Okay, wonderful. And so what about your your facial structure and your beak i assume you have a beak yeah Is there anything that looks like you see describe? um it would be the sort of same structure as what you would actually see on a flamingo but for some mm -hmm. reason it's wearing a hat okay what kind a of little hat? black round bowler hat mm -hmm. Wonderful. And so you're in this space, this outdoor space. And tell me, what is the story here? What is happening on this day? It's sunny. The, um, the sky is kind of clear. It's sunny. There's fluffy clouds. Um, and I just feel like we want to take off and go on a bit of a journey, you know, like how birds kind of migrate or emigrate. I feel like we've got somewhere to go. Okay. So let's go on that journey together and you can describe to me what happens. Okay. Just allow yourself to go on that journey. So we're just flying about and floating around and, and, and looking about and we can actually see sort of more made up villages and, and, and buildings as though there is existence of other animals and mammals and societies and stuff going on in this place. Mm -hmm. It's softer, it's a softer place than where we are now. It's um, There's a more oneness, there's a more of a vibe of community and togetherness. Mm -hmm. And there's not, there's not the pollution that we see it now. There's not the kind of not the hatred there's not the, the sort of jealousy and, and kind of human idiocy, idiocy that we find yeah um these birds are just landing then down landing by a, a water source that's more in with other sort of other beings other things mm -hmm. um Humans are there, humans are present, and they're all just playing out together. It must be sort of a, a communal gathering space where we're at and the birds have landed. Mm -hmm. There doesn't seem to be any kind of tension between the birds or the humans or any kind of 
humans going up and sort of stroking or trying to pet the animals or anything like that. There's just kind of a a sense of being and togetherness, but where everybody's not kind of on each other. Mm-hmm. Very good. Do you feel like this is Earth? I didn't get the sense it was Earth at all when I first started, but as I moved through, I was talking about it and wondering whether it is, but it's more of a future of. Wonderful. Or whether it's, yeah, moving so towards. Animals and humans are much more comfortable in each other's presence. Harmonise, much, much more sense of harmony and less destruction, definitely. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. And so what else is occurring on this day? What else is happening in this day? Anything in particular going on? Or is this just a, a regular day in this, this new world? Feels like a regular day, but not one that's angsty or stressy. Or, you know, it just feels like a regular day and everybody's sort of getting about the business. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel very narrative, very sort of storytelling, sort of me and this kind of bird-like thing. I suppose that's what the sense of the situation is though that we're doing now. Um, so it feels like there's more freedom in this space. Yeah, absolutely, definitely, yeah. Mm-hmm. More of wonder, more of kind of... Um, is an ability to kind of be. Mm-hmm. And I take it the, the, the fear around how humans treat animals is no longer there? Exactly, yeah. yeah. And so what about the land? What is, um, what has happened to the earth? What is going on with the earth? How did the, the earth is plush and green and well, it's colourful, not just green, it's colourful from the flora and fauna that, that's present on there. Uh, it doesn't feel damaged. I don't get that sense of damage as when I look around now. Um, mm-hmm. I get a sense of restoration. I get a sense that we've actually moved towards like, the harmony and where we've restored the areas so actually where your brownfield sites on earth um have been more restored and humans have actually harmonized and and learned how to be more sustainable and build that's more sustainable for their environment and live in that in a way that's not strangling um the other living entities on the planet wonderful what is human housing like in this space Human housing is more of your um, self-sustaining housing where you have your earth ship housing where that actually provides for you with a water source and cleans the water from brown through back to clean again and where humans are actually growing um, within their own house with greenhouses and um, are more sustained in their own fruit and vegetables and actually feel that we're interconnected with other tribes and we are still have a global sense but i don't feel that we, we've got that those supply chains where where you've got um you know we're disrupting other humans to live we're actually all living more in a localized fashion and we've actually figured out how we can feed everybody to nourish people and people can get what they require and they can still have adventures but it's not in a respect of where it's destroying things and we've all got an awareness of how we do look after the planet and and, and how we do be at one with the planet and, and the environment and everything else has got to be there Wonderful. Very good. And can you tell me anything about the the structures of government and um, economy in this space? That's been rewritten. It's all been completely rewritten. It's not how we see it at all today, and that's on a global scale. Um, The 
the ego and the death and the destruction from the power hungry has depleted and it's, it's minimized and it's moved on. Um, we now have where there's a freedom of movement for all, uh, but there's a self-governance from each individual soul where people just have a better understanding of how to govern themselves and actually and look after each other rather than being dickheads, to be honest. <laughs> um <laughs> yeah I, I, I don't feel that we've got that old archaic kind of downward hierarchical structure i do feel that you've got leaders in a sense of people who have knowledge and and who are wise and they are there for people to you know like your elders of a community would have been back in tribal I do feel that we've got more tribal and we've taken more from our tribal ancestors. Mm. We go back to looking at how they were living and, and yeah, and it's just more self-governed. You don't have that whole, you know, you know, the police are coming after you because you're growing some cannabis. We've actually moved to where we can use the holistic plants and medicines actually for, for what they're supposed to be for. Wonderful. And do humans still just stay on the planet or have we managed to produce a technology where we can go off planet? Do we have interactions with extraterrestrial beings? What is our, are we still very much focused on earth or have we expanded our horizon? Humans can um, transcend to other planets through what we're doing now anyway and I believe that there's more of that that goes on and people have more of an understanding of how to do that and speak to other beings in other planets and light years and, and other systems and, and get knowledge as well and share knowledge and share information but I do feel that you can have out of body transcending experiences to, to, to be on these other planets and the same with, with people coming in from other planets to, to earth as well Mm -hmm. I do believe that there will have been some sort of invention for us to be able to access and, and access it and travel physically to other places and other dimensions as well. I don't have a clue when that is. So we've advanced our technology to the point where we can, yeah, we can start to to move. Yeah, but I do believe we we get that advancement from listening to other. Um, from to other life forms in other places i don't believe we get that from us sort of just being closed off in our sort of scientific ways that we are now i believe that the people who are actually working on these technologies need to be working with people who can transcend them into other life forms and to other places so that they can actually get the knowledge from them they're the people that, that must have this kind of guidance and the knowledge from the physical realm from how they study in the physical realm so if they can actually work with people to transcend into other life areas and, and understand they would get the answers from the other realms almost through through manifestation so there's a spiritual access uh, um there's a spiritual advancement as well as a technical scientific yeah. advancement and are they more merged with each other yeah they work together yeah yeah, definitely. Wonderful. Excellent. Is there any more information that wants to come through in this scene? Anything else that wishes to be shared at this time? I just feel it very strongly that that just has to be more of an, an, an awakening um, and more of teaching and understanding of the awakening in the present because um, I do, I feel like it's a ticking time bomb. I don't know whether this is coming from me being, you know, under or whether these are my own sort of senses and belief forms anyway. But whether they've been, you know, that that's what I've been guided to understand through time anyway. But I, do, I feel this ticking time bomb that we're kind of cusping, and the time is now, and that we need to um, have this awakening and this rising consciousness. Um, to almost for humanity's sake for humanities to get to this 
better level um, and, and for us to be able to, to manifest the truth and, and move forward. And where would you say humanity is on that timeline of reaching that awakening? Can you tune in and, and see that for us? And how can we... I, sorry, Karen. No, I, I, can, I feel, I do feel, I sense that it's close, but I sense that there's a lot going on for it to get to there. But again, I know that from my readings that I do anyway, that I've sort of read something about 2025, there's going to be this huge, massive shift in, you know, in consciousness. And I do believe everyone's more sort of connected and stuff too. So I'm really trying to sense whether I'm getting this. Just allow the information to come to you and through you. We're just allowing your conscious mind to step aside. Yeah, I just believe there is going to be a massive explosive awakening. Not in a bad explosive sense, but I just feel like it's just really tipping. And it's going to happen. There's going to be a lot of kind of shit before the storm almost. But I believe there's already been a lot of shit. But then there's going to be a big kind of boom. And then we're all going to tip. And um, there's going to be a better sense of realisation and you're going to get these um, people who have been on this real academic, scientific path they are just going to realise and manifest and transform in this beautiful awakening. And I believe it's coming sort of, yeah, 20, 30, 20, 35, 2025, all in that time frame. There's just going to be that massive shift Mm. and we're going to move towards where we're going to find this just better being better way better way of how we're funding and financing and how we're actually more just living together and working together for this sort of excelled level of consciousness and being wonderful is there anything that we can do on on, on earth now so that we can assist ourselves getting to this place? Is there anything the ones who are awake and awakened can do to assist the shift? Communicate, but communicate in a way that people get and understand without sort of scaring them off because it, for some people it's just such a new thing to access the awakened being and to access spirit realm and so many people split off science from spirituality that it's actually it's a way of communicating it so that people aren't sort of airy fairy off the the mm -hmm. They understand that they want and that, that they, the soul needs to have this awakening for, for the rise of the humans and, and, the, and the consciousness and everybody's almost to me I feel like it's to save humanity I don't know whether it is that I believe that Gaia and the planet will, will do what's best for it but I believe that humanity for us to be sort of get to our destination for our creator it, we need to align the sort of spirit and the science Mm -hmm. And to do that, it needs to be gently communicated to those people who are going to almost put the barriers up towards it and not accept of it. And is everybody that's on earth, is everybody going to go on the same path? Or are there others that will not catch up? So you were talking about a wave. Can you tell me any more about this wave? The wave to me is just a wave of everybody. I feel my voice changing, actually. The wave to me is I feel a wave of um, people, like how they're going to get on the, and get conscious and, and how they're going to find the learning of it. I don't want to be vague here. I feel like I really want to... It's okay, just tune in. Yeah, the wave for me is people literally getting on the wave of consciousness and riding over to the uh, to, to getting more conscious to the higher levels of conscious. Mm -hmm. And it's the different levels of people. So some people might be on this wave near at the top and some further down near the bottom. And that's like where somebody is on the kind of spirituality and, and, and the, their awakeness and the consciousness and how they're riding that wave and that plateau over. And I'm just sensing that those people that are sort of awakened, that they've got kind of a lot to do to 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 help this journey and help the understanding of those who are 
on the lower levels of the wave. Okay, is there any more information that wants to come through in this scene? Yeah, I just feel that there's a better way for, for the masses and there's a better way for the majority and it'd be like such an outcry for us not to 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 be on that to be on that it'd be such an outcry for humanity on earth to miss out on any of that mm -hmm. uh, to to destruct and to destroy the planet but then to destruct and destroy humans on the planet too um and th th this level of being um, I, I also have a sense that, you know, Gaia will just, even if humans weren't to sort of get to the higher self and, and, and align, and if she was to sort of destruct, she would recreate and reproduce in another worldly sense. Uh, and her missions with the sort of higher beings would still come about in a, in a sense, you know, I don't feel like it's just going to be destruction and blackness. Mm. there is going to be there is more and there is that kind of I, I do have that hope that we are going to get the um, higher higher life form and higher way of living and the greater consciousness and well-being of planet and what's on that planet and harmony for, for, for as many as possible